What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we have a little bit of news about Eververse and some massive changes coming to the armor she offers and the way it will work come September with the release of Shadow Keep. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Bungie earlier today dropped an update about four Eververse changes and I'm just going to read it all to you guys and give you guys my opinion on this and why I think it's absolutely amazing. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, like we did a few weeks ago on the live stream, we are going to continue to talk about how Destiny will continue to evolve this fall and beyond. This update is about how we're changing Eververse. We've already made a number of changes to Eververse in Season of Opulence. We've redesigned the store, we've made bright engrams that only include year one gear and have it biased heavily toward giving you items you haven't unlocked in your collections. And we're going to make more changes to the economy, store and armor in this fall's patch. Okay, so the armor. It stinks to go to the Eververse store and see an item that looks cool and then seeing that the item has bad perks on it. In fact, when we're setting up the armor, we twist ourselves up in knots to make sure the Eververse armor sets didn't have good perks. We did this because we want the best way to get sweet perks on your armor to be by playing the game, not shopping for enhanced hand cannon loaders at Tess. The root cause, dating all the way back to Destiny 1, is that Eververse armor has always had perks gameplay capability as part of the package. We are done with that. As of this September, all Eververse armor is being converted into universal ornaments. These universal ornaments can be applied to all of the legendary armor sets we're releasing this fall. They override the look of your equipped gear while preserving the perks, mods and the stats of the original item. Any Eververse armor you have acquired in your collections will have its universal ornaments automatically unlocked for use on new legendary armor. For example, if the song in your heart is to have your titan role with the 2018 Tin Man-esque Festival of the Lost Hermit, you can put it on any of the new legendary armor coming to the game this fall. And we can see an example via a picture on screen now how a helmet will have multiple ornaments which will have been in the past Eververse gear. Okay, so moving on to evolving Bright Dust. Historically, the best way to earn Bright Dust in Destiny 2 has been to buy a bunch of Bright Engrams. Shard everything from the Engrams, build up a giant bankroll of Bright Dust and then spend it when the Warlock, Dyer Ahamkaru Helmet shows up, the Bright Dust roll in the last week of the season. We're going to change this. This fall we're changing Bright Dust from a pay and or play to earn currency to a play to earn reward. We're adding Bright Dust as a reward for completing Vanguard, Crucible and Gambit bounties. We want all players to earn dust for playing, not for spending money and destroying a bunch of items in their inventory. After you complete all your bounties for the week, there will be an additional avenue to keep grinding out Bright Dust. It's also been pretty uncool to go to the collection screen and spend Bright Dust to get shaders or gold shells or whatever. We're going to fix that too. Beginning September 17th, Eververse items in your collections will cost Glimmer and Legendary Shards. If you want to keep pulling out that exotic sparrow that looks like a motorcycle until you get the good sparrow perk, Instant Summon, you can do that with Legendary Shards and Glimmer, so that's pretty cool people. Changes to dismantling Eververse items. Lastly, because we are changing the cost of pulling things out of your collections, Eververse items will no longer dismantle into bright dust. This fall, Eververse items will dismantle into legendary shards and glimmer. However, that means right now the absolute best thing you can do with all the Eververse items you don't use regularly, armor, sparrows, shaders, ghost shells, transmit effects, is dismantle them. Sitting on a pile of Midnight Talons or Metro Shift from your year one stockpiles, shard them for dust. That's right, everything must go. Dismantle the extra stuff you have in your inventory, build up a huge amount of bright dust and spend it on sweet stuff as it rolls through the Eververse store. Because on September 17th, everything changes. So actually some great, great changes people. But the best thing about this whole new post is, and this latest news is, the way armor is evolving look wise. 
Now this is a kind of system many of us have wanted in the game from day one. Keeping the perks and the uh, pluses on offers, but allow us to make it look the way we want it to look. And this is basically the first step of that evolving armor system. Any Eververse gear you've had in the past, you will now be able to basically wear that armor set, but keep those raid perks if you're applying it to raid armor. Keep them perks you have for PvP setups if you're using them for PvP. Strikes, Comp, Gambit, whatever. So this is definitely a great addition for sure, people. I mean, I currently have, I think on my Hunter anyway, more or less every armor set that's been available from the events and from Eververse. So I cannot wait for Shadowkeep, I cannot wait for this update. And this, in my opinion, is definitely the first step of a system which allows us to basically look the way we want and use the armor perks we want to. That's a great, great thing, it really is. But guys, that's basically it. I thought I'd bring you guys the latest news and updates surrounding the game. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really does help out. Tell me what you think about this down below within that comment section. But yeah, guys, things to do before September 17th. Dismantle all of your unused Eververse items to maximize your Bright Dust reserves. Because on September 17th, if you haven't dismantled any of these Eververse items, when you do come to dismantle them, I'm pretty sure they'll turn into Glimmer and Shards. So you will miss out on bright dust. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. Thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.